what does it actually mean for your tankers? How many do you have at sea right now? And are they impacted longer term by the price of WTI going negative? Well, thank you very much for inviting me. Um, yes, it's a very interesting time because uh, tankers are being used at the moment for uh, two purposes, which uh, are the transportation of oil between the production and, uh, and uh, the refineries uh, all over the world, uh, but also, and, and more and more so, uh, as storage places, as uh, the land storage are, are being full or being filled up very, very quickly. And, and that's very much what we saw yesterday with WTI going negative, uh, just because Cushing has uh, probably only 10 million barrels uh, left of space. So uh, people are renting ships uh, to store the oil, uh, and uh, those are usually uh, anywhere between three and nine months contract, and on average, six months contract in the How much are you charging to actually store oil? So could, could you see a situation where a store is, you know, where oil is stored for one, two months or even longer. I mean, the, the world we live in right now, do you think that anything could be possible when it comes to oil? Uh, well, we saw that yesterday. I mean, this is the first time that uh, uh, oil is going negative. So you're absolutely right. I mean, we could see anything. At the moment, uh, we, we charge, uh, yesterday we fixed a ship for a, a voyage between uh, the Arabian Gulf uh, and China at $165,000 a day. Our break-even are, are uh, $28,000 a day, so you can see that uh, the margins are phenomenal and that the spot market is going to uh, stratospheric uh, levels. Uh, and we don't think that uh, it will stop there. We think that it will go higher and higher simply because there are more and more ships which are being taken out of the fleet for storage purposes, uh, as I was saying, which means that the total <coughs> supply of ships that are available for transportation is uh, diminishing by the day. Now, on uh, those uh, fixed uh, contracts, uh, and let's take the example of six months, uh, in the past month, we have, uh, I mean, we, the, 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 the market has fixed about 80 ships, which represents 10% of the world fleet. Uh, and on average, those contracts were paying you $80,000 a day uh, for the duration of the six months contract. We believe that uh, it will be more expensive tomorrow than uh, yesterday, uh, simply because the demand for storage is going gonna to go up, and therefore the spot market will go up, and then the people, uh, in order to lock in their ships for six months under a fixed rate contract, mm. will ask for more because of what they can get into the spot market. So it's uh, vicious circle, but of course in our world it's what we call the virtuous circle. Mr. DeStoop, you're viscerally attached to this crisis. If you drive from Singapore up to Kuala Lumpur, up the left coast, the west coast of Malaysia, you're going to get to a harbor where you're going to park a tanker four football fields long. What's the elasticity of that oil? How do you expect that oil on that 1,200-foot tanker to sit there and for how long? Is it months and months and months? The market looks to clear in weeks. Do you suggest it will be much longer? Yes, uh, definitely. And, uh, and we've seen that in the past. So you have to know that oil does not deteriorate when it's stored on board a ship. Uh, there is very little maintenance that needs to be done. Uh, and so the oil can sit there uh, as much as it can sit on land storage, by the way, for months or even years, uh, if, uh, if that's what people want to have. Uh, we are not directing the duration of those contracts. So I think that people who are looking at uh, the oil price currently and looking at future contracts make the math. <clears throat> they see that today the oil is very cheap, but tomorrow the oil is supposed to be more expensive. And when I say suppose, it's because that's what the futures contract tells you. And, of course, if you're a trader, you can lock in that profit. The only problem uh, that they have at the moment is that uh, upon the end of the contract, and if it's a, a one month, two months, three months, or six months contract, if it's a WTI contract, which is settled on NYMEX, uh, at the end of the contract, you will have to deliver the oil, which is not the same uh, in other parts of the world. And certainly Brent contract. Uh, mm -hmm. are not, uh, uh, well, settled physically. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, well, it's a financial thing. 